This is Gordon Van Dyke, a producer on Battlefield Bad Company 2 for DICE in Stockholm, Sweden. Right now we're giving you a sneak peek of the beta. I'm going to show you how everything starts off. First you're going to start off as either an attacker or defender on the rush game mode. You're going to see a selection of kits. It's going to actually remember the last kit you were previously and also if you selected new equipment. So we're going to pop in as an engineer really quick. Now, when you start to when you spawn in, you're going to be able to either pick from your main base or actually spawn in on one of your squad mates, and you'll be able to select exactly who it is you want to spawn on it, as long as they're alive. So we'll spawn on our friend here, and right now we're with, they we just took an objective. We're trying to take this objective right here, so objective B, and I died. <laughs> As you can see, the death cam, kill cam, doesn't really give away the attacker's position. Necessarily, it just kind of gives you a sneak peek of who it was that killed you, so you can kind of try and avenge that. Now, if you kind of take a look around, we've really increased the visuals and the details of all of our maps down to, you know, the environment around you and also the, um, your external environment, just to kind of engross you into the experience. On the rush game mode, you're going to have different locations and you can actually set attack calls for your squad on the different objectives if, uh, to kind of help finalize your squ uh, strategies that you're using or you're discussing over VoIP. Now you're going to have Alpha and Bravo objectives that you want to take. And these are crates, you can either arm them, you can shoot them and try and destroy them by damaging them, or if they're in a building that can be leveled down and dropped completely, you can actually drop the entire building on top of the objective and take it that way. Ah, they disabled our charge! Charge storm, stand by! All your squad mates are always going to be highlighted green, and you can also see them next to the minimap, and you can see what kits they are, and if they're in a vehicle, it'll let you know that as well. As you can see, I'm pretty good for a death. <laughs> now, at the end of our rounds, we actually have done something kind of unique for Battlefield, is we added end of round movie sequence. Now, this is going to kind of give you a sneak peek of what happened. So, it'll be different for if the attackers won or if the defenders uh, won uh, each time. Kind of add a little bit of story or you know make you feel more involved in, in the actual gameplay for multiplayer. And the round screen, you're going to be able to see different things. As you can see, it's the list of my stats, uh, you know, showing me my total score and how much I scored for each kit, if I played different kits, how many deaths, how many kills, uh, and uh, which weapon I scored the most with. So, And also the dog tags below, and it shows me what pins I've aw been awarded or the dog tags I've taken from other soldiers. And, and an increase for my unlocks for the engineer kit. So as you can see, you'll be able to unlock... Uh, specific weapons in, in, in vehicle unlocks and it's dependent on what kit you play and what actions you take during the game so all, all the unlocks are are specific to that uh, scenario. Now a fun thing that you can do with all the kits, right, with the engineer it's the easiest with the drill tools, you can kind of create your own cover or your own firing point to kind of use that to kind of uh, sneak up on uh, enemies or use it to make it harder for them to kill you. You create a micro destruction, a little vantage point. And when the enemies come, then you kill them. <laughs> now, a cool thing is 
you can get in, uh, you can co-pilot in vehicles. So you can get in the gunner point. I'm going to get in the gunner point in this vehicle. And the key thing about this is when you have vehicle unlocks, when you jump in the vehicle, your, your vehicle unlock will combine with, your, with the pilots or vice versa. So if one has the armor upgrade and then the other person has the radar, you'll, the vehicle will get both the radar and the armor. But you'll never be able to kind of double things up. So if you both have armor, you're not going to get twice the armor improvement. You'll only get the same as if you had one. Spotting has also been changed. So with spotting, you actually have to manually use a button to select and spot an opponent. And you actually have to keep your crosshairs on it if you want to maintain the spot. It's much, it makes it more about skill uh, for spotting now, and it's not as easy to do if you played Bad Company 1. Right now you see he's playing as a defender, so my objective, now the, the crates are marked in blue. So anything that's ever marked in blue is your friend, and if it's green, again, it's your squad mate. So now my objective is to defend it. Now you can switch what kit you want to be while you're playing. You can also switch your secondary weapon. You can switch your gadget. That's a ta you know, the gadget and it's specific to your, uh, your kit type. And then you'll do specializations. Once you unlock those, you'll be able to, to switch that out. So now that I've spotted him, now that I'm not maintaining my uh, line of sight with him, I lost the spot. Now I reestablished it to help out my, my teammate that had the tow missile. The static one. Another cool thing is that when you do actually spot someone, if somebody gets a kill with that spot, then you'll actually uh, you'll get a point for spotting them. So the sniper got me. As you can see, even though it's showing me that it's a sniper and I understand what killed me, I still don't know where he is. Our levels are much too big and much too vast for the kill cams in Battlefield Bad Company 2 to give uh, positions away. So, as you can see, I just got hit. And a, a trick to do when you're battling in a tank is that actually dependent armor is specific to the vehicle. So, the back of your tank is more susceptible to damage than the front. So, you want, always want to kind of have a front stance when you're, when you're going into a tank fight. Otherwise, you're going to lose to the guy that kind of positions himself behind you. So, right now what I'm going to show you is I can res, resurrect my teammate and bring him back to life. And that's really key when you're playing. The strategies that go behind that are endless, and it really helps out, uh, you know, keep the flow of your team and p let your squad progress and, and keep their position of defense, or if you're attacking, you know, keep your team moving forward. And right now we just, the enemy had armed the crate and then we came back over and de-armed it. So you, you're able to arm and disarm at the same time. 